What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be doing a little bit different video. We're going to be going over our everyday carry firearms. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm going to go first. My everyday carry, it really depends. So the Glock 36, chamber 45 ACP, we have a couple of reviews on the channel. Go check them out. It is a compact, subcompact Glock chambered in 45. It's a very interesting platform, I will tell you that. Go check out our reviews. We've actually thoroughly come to really enjoy that firearm. It is it's a lot of fun to shoot. It's definitely got some kick, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad of a platform. My other everyday carry is the MMP 2.0 by Smith & Wesson. Now, as you can see, she's got that horrendous trigger in there, but once you get used to it, it's really not that bad. I'll be totally honest with you. I have the standard barrel in there. I do have a faction arm threaded barrel that I throw in there every now and then for either a suppressor or a comp, but for right now, she is with the stock barrel. If I'm running EDC, I want the most reliable components in there, hence factory barrel. I run a TLR7 Alpha, which has 500 lumens. Very nice little light, especially for the price and the compactness. I run a CNG holster right here. Again, for the TLR7 Alpha, so very, very nice. As far as the sights, we're running the XS day night sights these guys are amazing so they are tritium so they do glow in the dark which is very very nice we have floyd customs flared magwell here this is again for the compact version so she is a little bit smaller than the full size but she runs just fine so we have the standard magazines here but we have the ed brown extended base plate adds an extra two so it goes from 15 to 17. i always want to run in the chamber which is a hot topic that we will not go over again no manual safety because i'm not a cuck and that brings it up to a total of 18 rounds I have on my person at all time. I run Liberty Ammunition Civil Defense Rounds. These are 50 grain, 2,000 feet per second, hollow points, nine millimeter. Go take a look at the ballistics. It's quite nasty, I'll just say that. This is my birthday gift for my 21st birthday for my parents. Thank you, mom and dad. I love this gun. She is always gonna be with me and she's gonna be changing very, very soon. New trigger, new comp, new everything coming very soon. So we're gonna build her out. She's not necessarily gonna be an EDC anymore. She's gonna be more for open carry. But again, if you keep the parts, for example, the factory barrel, you can switch it out anytime you want, take some things off, run an EDC. You can do that, which is always really cool. Stepping into my everyday carry gun, it's gonna sound a little weird, but yes, it is a revolver. M200 by Rock Island Armory. Very nice, very solid gun. Groundworks, they did do some really nice grips, wooden grips, it looks nice, and they're very thin. Stock, it's a little body of a grip, so it's nice to have thin grips on this. Got this from Craft Holster. It's a very nice leather holster. It actually cost me more than the gun itself, so if that tells you anything, it's actually very nice and high quality, so you could strap it on or leave it like I do because I'm not gonna really have time to quick draw that out with the button on there. So that's why I just leave it unbuttoned. In terms of capacity, she's got six. The reload's gonna be pretty tough on this one. Make sure you go check out our full review on this one. We've had some great things to say about it. It really hasn't ever let us down. Uh, if anything, it would've been a crappy piece of ammo, but everybody gets that all the time. In terms of the gun itself, it's made really well, especially for the money. This is the speed loader that I have just set aside for the M200. It came with the gun, very, very nice. So I just got some regular full metal jacket, nothing crazy. I run it with hollow points. It's Hornady Critical Defense, took them out for this video. Don't have any problems here, but doing the reload is also quite interesting. It's got that Colt reverse pull to release the cylinder. So pretty neat, I kind of like it. It's different than most other guns. And also the trigger pull, again, we are clear here though. This is double action here. Pulling that trigger, arr, that is a 12 pound trigger. When it comes to guns, I'll be honest, I am pretty damn lazy. And when I say lazy, I mean very lazy. I don't clean them. And when it comes to getting the parts that I need and probably should own, lazy. The reason why I don't carry my Matei MC9 by Canik, it's a great gun. It's just the holster it came with is, I personally don't like it. It definitely holds well. But the way it feels when you carry it, it's so stiff and I'm like, you know, maybe it's just my jeans are too tight. It just doesn't feel comfortable to carry. So I just need to upgrade the holster. Maybe I'll look to craft holster, see if they've got a real nice holster for that one, who knows? But yeah, I've been lazy, I need to get one for that. But that is another one I tend to carry here and there. It's just not as comfortable. When it comes to everyday carry, that's probably your most important firearm that you have, period. As the firearm that you, unfortunately, hope to God that you never have to, but more likely would be the firearm that you're gonna have to use to defend yourself and or protect your family or protect those that are unarmed. It's the firearm that is gonna be on you more often. You're more intimate with it than any other firearm. 
it's gonna be the one that saves your life. You never know when something might happen. If you see a situation that might be out of place, take action because you could save the life of others or potential presidents. Unlike the secret service. You know, a sloped roof at five degrees is one hell of a... <laughs> back to being serious. Everyday carry is very important. It's a very important topic. And I highly recommend that you go out train with your firearm that you carry most often and really get the fundamentals down. Know your trigger, know the insides, clean your gun, unlike Scott. <laughs> really get to know your firearm, really get to know the feel of it, get a good holster, get uh, the attachments that you add on there. Make sure it's not just stuff that you're just gonna add on to add on to make it look cool. Make sure it's something that you're actually gonna use. You don't have to have all the fancy gadgets on there like a lot of people will tell you you have to. Some nice upgrades, sights, optics, if you want to, a light. I recommend a light over a laser, and we can go over that in a different video, but target identification is absolutely crucial when it comes to everyday carry, because you don't want to end up shooting someone you don't want to shoot. We're thinking of live streaming the election night, because why not? It's a big night, probably the most important election of our entire lifetime. We'll be live streaming it on this channel right here. We'll be covering every state as they're called, all the way up to the final votes. Very excited to see who's gonna win because it should be a blowout. It shouldn't be really a question here. We shouldn't be having this conversation, but hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.